și al de lipsa de motivare pe care foarte mulți angajați. Today I'm traveling to Leeds from Huddersfield to interview Tony Stanley, who has been the director of Equality Leeds for the last 20 years. Equality Leeds has been given a winding up order and will close at the end of March. My knowledge of Equality Leeds stems way back to 1996 when I worked for Kirkley's Racial Equality Council. Equality Leeds focuses on the elimination of racial inequality and has been the sole champion of this for the last 10 years in West Yorkshire. What now for black, Asians and minority ethnic individuals and organizations? Where are they going to go? The current political climate over the last 10 years has disseminated black and Asian and ethnic minority social enterprises and the voluntary sector. The structures such as Commission for Racial Equality, law centres which supported race equality, trade unions that enabled black and Asian and ethnic minorities to take up and pursue racial injustice have all gone. Tony Stanley is the last man standing. I have always found Tony a man of principle and high integrity. I want to know how this has happened. How does Tony feel about the closure of Equality Leads? What do others think of Equality Leads? closing and its impact long term to the region and generations to come. What next for racial equality in the West Yorkshire region? For Tony, Sandra and Claude, race equality doesn't seem to be on the government's agenda anymore. All of them feel race equality for all is essential. Only time will tell, both for the people of Leeds and the region, just what will replace it and how race equality relations within our communities will be. Yeah, I started working for Equality, well, we were Leeds Community Relations Council then, in 1988. Before then I worked in Leicester, Leicester City Council for, for six years as a race equality officer. Um, so yeah, I've had a long stretch in that. Um, I think from, from my personal point of view, I, it's come at a time when I was considering other options anyway. Um, from a professional uh, community member, point of view um, it's it's a shame because the work we were doing with the Leeds BME hub was um, significant in that it was moving that hub forward it was uh, widening the scope for that hub to actually take action in in particular areas that, that were of a concern to the community to the local community um, fortunately the hub will continue uh, but I will be withdrawing from that uh, setting gradually over the next couple of months but the hub work will continue because the funding from the city council will continue except that work is not going to be conducted by uh, equality leads i think what what i'm trying to get across is the fact that there's been nowhere to go for some time now because we don't we, we had to stop dealing with racial discrimination complaints. We carried on, we, we lost the funding to do that in 2009, but we've carried on doing that uh, within our sort of limited resources anyway, till it's come to a point now where fewer people are actually taking employment cases through the tribunal route, because that's been effectively closed to the majority of people that have had racial discrimination experience and want to challenge it through the court system because now they have to, to, to pay ridiculous amounts in order for their case to be heard. And that's meant that that, that, as that route of getting some kind of justice, of, particularly where people have uh, been discriminated against in the workplace, that route's been closed if effectively closed because uh, nobody's got the kind of cash that is required to actually start a case and then continue in a tribunal system so um, I think that's that's the, um, the the main change in recent years that have affected what we've done and how we've worked because we've had to move away from complainant aid work and focus on the BME hub effectively I mean you're asking what how, how I feel about you know things happening now and we're trying to sort of 
gauge the impact of a closure. The difficulty is that I think we were closed off from doing that kind of stuff some time back. I tried to explain that, but recognising that as, a, and as an institution, um, equality leads, leads racial equality council as we were, um, that's going to be missed, but not as much as it might have been if we were able to, to continue with the funding that we had uh, in the past and actually doing racial discrimination casework. Um, and we were very good at that um, in terms of getting people financial compensation for discriminatory racist experience that they, they faced at work. Um, it's a different era. It's a different era. I'm not sure where things are heading in terms of race equality. Um, the, the, the thing to emphasise is that the issues are still there. There are people um, being harassed on a daily basis in some, in, in some estates around Leeds. The police and their attitudes, that's still an, a, an issue. Um, employment discrimination, you look at the figures and the, the facts and figures around it, you'll still see that there's a gap in terms of uh, black people being able to, to move through the, the, the system and actually um, attain significant senior posts across the board. That's still an issue and there's a need for an awareness about that to continue. Um, some of that could be done through the BME Hub, but um, funding-wise it's much more difficult now to actually get funds on purely race equality um, uh, support for individuals and for institutions. Well, I've been involved um, from the 1990s since it was the um, Leeds REC. Um, and I've been on the I've been on different committees and stuff. For me, it's a, it's a, it's the end of an era. It's a, it's the end of a need that is still needed. To be optimistic, first of all, it would be lovely for me to say it's going to move into a new direction. Um, we're going to get back to where we used to be. We're going to become a community where we're going to have one voice and we're going to challenge the issues. Because for me, the issues haven't changed. You, you, they've just could become more covert. I, I, being pessimistic, I'm not sure where it's going to go, I'll have to give you an honest answer because, you know, the issues aren't there as much as what they used to be and it's people like myself, Tony and um, Claude that are still passionate um, about what race should be, about what, what race equality should be. I think it's a government. I think we are led by a government that is, um, is white and um, I think they don't really understand the issues in regards to how they should understand the issues. So as much as they keep going back to let's look at this and let's look at that, at the end of the day, the issues remain the same. Us as black people know what the issues are. And I think, you know, a white-led government who don't really understand the issues and never have, have decided, well, at the end of the day, as they say, it's not just about race. Yeah, it's about, well, what about all the other things? So what they're trying to do now is dilute down race and make all the other things more important. When race, we've been the pinnacle of everything in regards to um, the community going back to the 60s. The minute they did dilute the Race Relations Act is the minute they knew what they were doing. And bringing inequality leads just to dilute things down but to take race off the agenda. But yeah, you're still putting race back on the agenda because you know race is still the issue. So... I blame the government and I will, you know, and, and I think, you know, to be honest, I think it's about white people having to be educated by us rather than them thinking that they can educate us, if you know what I mean. Equality Leads has had, whether it was the REC over the last 30 years, when we've had um, what we call riots or disturbances, they've been there to negotiate between local authority after 81 when we were looking at employment opportunities for BME people equality within employment within local authority they've been there to negotiate on our behalf i think when we were doing the bicentenary um, which was a celebration of 200 years since the abolition of the slave trade act they were central i think tony and maureen baker you know have to be commended for the time and effort that they've been and you know sitting in sometimes it's been the mediation that was needed sometimes when you've got two groups you need the mediation and equality leads has been that immediate for the bme community i think whatever happens they're going to have to in some way shape or form recreate 
equality leads because the issues with migrating people are going to go on some of the issues that we had from the 70s 80s and 90s into the new millennium have not been solved whether it's in education whether it's in employment whether it's in training so to me we're going to need a voice for the BME community, not just in Leeds, but across West Yorkshire. So this issue is not going to go away. The problems are not solved and the new migrating people will only un serve to underpin the issues that we've been arguing for. When they do the right thing.